हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष राय फ्रॉम आई सी आर आई आई वी आर इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वेजिटेबल रिसर्च टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन मॉड्यूल इंसर्सन वैक्टर्स रिप्लेसमेंट वैक्टर वैक्टर्स कॉज मीट्स फॉज मीट्स अंडर द पेपर जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिकॉम्बिनेट डी एन ए टेक्नोलॉजी आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल यू शुड बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट इंसर्सन वैक्टर्स डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ रिप्लेसमेंट वैक्टर्स कॉज मीट्स एंड फॉज मीट्स बिफोर कमिंग ऑन मेन टॉपिक वी हैव टू समराइज द बैक्टीरियो फाज लैमडा इट विल हेल्प टू अंडरस्टैंड द फिनोमिना ऑफ इंसर्सन एंड रिप्लेसमेंट वैक्टर्स इजिली अ टेम्परेट बैक्टीरियो फाज ऑफ फैमिली स्टाइलोविडी होस्ट इज Isertia coli K12 strains. In bacteriophage lambda, it is the most studied bacteriophage with a fully sequenced linear double-stranded DNA genome of approx 49 kb. Bacteriophage lambda have 50 genes and 12 base pair complementary overhangs at both ends, known as cos sites. only half number of genes are essential for its to infect replicate and package its dna into viral capsid the infection of bacteriophage lambda starts with the ab absorption of phage dna by bacterium after entering into host cell the linear double stranded dna molecule get circularized through the cos site present at ends from and it forms a circular dna like plasmid a lambda bacteriophage viron has a isohedral head with 55 nanometer diameter and a non contractile tail approx 150 into 10 nanometer a bacteriophage lambda just adhere to a cell membrane of its host and injects its dna into the bacterium after entering into host cell the linear double stranded dna molecule catalyzed through the cos site cyclized through the cos site of its ends to form a circular dna like plasmid after circularization it opts one of the two life cycles present in it first it isogenic cycle is get integrated into the bacterial genome and replicates and transferred along with bacterial genome while in lytic cycle it replicates using host cell machinery and continue up to the death of the bacterium due to overproduction of its virons bacteriophage lambda genome organization in capsid lambda dna exists in a linear form in the bacteriophage and it in a circular form upon entering into bacterium the switch from linear to circular form occurs through complementation of the overhanging dna ends at the cos sites many of the genes required for the integration of lambda into the host chromosome or for new phages replication and assembly are grouped together on the lambda chromosome it is a circular form of the lambda in host cell after entering in circular form the lambda start replication in rolling ball manner here in figure the cos site can be shown with its complementary sequences bacteriophage lambda derived vectors we know that lambda phage is a linear vector a single restriction enzyme digestion creates two fragments whereas when we cut a circular plasmid vector with restriction endonuclease only it opens into linear fragment the wild type lambda phages have multiple restriction sites for commonly used as restriction endonucleases these sites uh, are very uh, common for those endonucleases which are being used in common labs to overcome this situation engineered phages have been designed 
by eliminating extra restriction sites. The engineered lambda vector fast vectors have therefore produced that either have a single restriction site at which foreign DNA can be inserted. So these are known as insertional vectors. On the other hand, or a pair of site defining a fragment then can be removed, it is called stuffer. The fragment which can be removed is called stuffer and it can be replaced by foreign DNA and this kind of vectors are called replacement vector. Since lambda can accommodate only 5% more than its normal complement of DNA, vectors derived are constructed with deletion of uh, stuffer ends, stuffer fragments to increase the space in the genome. The sorter the lambda DNA molecule that can produce the shortest lambda DNA molecule that can be produced into plaques are only 25% smaller than the normal length. The shortest lambda DNA molecules that can produce plaques of nearly a normal size are one fourth deleted. If too much non essential DNA is deleted from the genome, it cannot be packaged into the Fage particle efficiently. This situation turned to advantage for scientists. If the replaceable fragments of replacement vector is either removed or physical separation like gel electrophoresis of effectively destroy that sec second restriction endonuclease that cuts alone, then the deleted vector genome can give rise to a plaque only. If a new optimal size DNA segment is inserted into it, it means that if the stuffer segment is deleted and no other foreign DNA is incorporated, then there will be no plaques or forms. By this positive selection, only a vector having foreign DNA can be easily selected by physical means. In case of replacement, lambda vectors, the foreign DNA is inserted into the middle of lambda replacement vector. By replacing the stuffer fragment, a result is a linear DNA molecule with two cohesive ends. To get such constructs into an E. coli host cell efficiently requires to in vitro packaging. In this technique, a mixture of lambda proteins is mixed with the recombinant lambda DNA in vitro to form false particles. In fact, two separate E. coli cultures with two different infective lambda mutants generates the necessary lambda proteins. Each of the two mutants lacks an essential head protein and cannot form particles containing its own DNA. A mixture of Two lysates give a full set of lambda proteins and when mixed with lambda DNA can generate infectious sparse particles. Bacteriophage lambda insertion vectors. Two type of lambda bacteriophage vectors are found on the basis of accommodation of foreign DNA. First is insertion vectors. These are simplest lambda vectors similar to the concept of plasmid vectors. Prepare an artificial insertion lambda vector. The restriction site present for any restriction enzyme in the lambda vector is minimized to 1. To achieve it, restriction sites are deleted or a phage is searched for mutation in the restriction sites. The packaging limits for any insertion lambda vector is between 37 kb to 51 kb accommodating maximum of 14 kb and minimum of 4.3 kb foreign DNA. The most important phase for molecular biology is phase lambda. In its wild type form, it is a phase with a 48.5 kb linear double standard genome which is packaged in a protein envelope. Once constructed, it can auto automatically infect E. coli and replicate within this bacterium. 
because there is still a little space between the fudge envelope of a 12 kb long fragment can be inserted into the genome according to the vector used without disturbing the fudge envelope or fudge particle derived vectors that function according to this principle as are known as insertion vectors there are some advantages of insertion vectors these are easy to restrict by single restriction endonuclease these are self packaging into fudge particles easy transformation long and easy storability and it is host specificity that prevent escape them from laboratories and they can only infect bacteria makes them safe for human health full length lambda molecule have two identical restriction sites flanked by stuffer fragment the stuffer fragment is replaced by foreign dna during restriction cloning the vector without foreign insert cannot be packaged due to the size limitation is small than the required because a limited size is required to be packed into the pyron insert size range between 10 to 23 kb examples are lambda embl3 and lambda embl4 etc here in the figure you can see the stuffer segment of 14 kb that can be replaced by a foreign dna of almost same size the pembl4 replacement vector have capability to carry up up to 8 to 24 kb size insert the bacteria fudge lambda cloning vectors has a middle segment responsible for insertion excision that is ie region and this region can be replaced with the foreign dna with the help of two bomb h1 sites present on the either side of ie region hence in a cloning strategy described in figure foreign dna is put into the vector and then allowed to infect the bacteria in the presence of ie region fuzz will integrate into the bacterial chromosome and continue lysogeny cycle but when ie region is disrupted or replaced with the foreign dna it will continue lytic cycle and form plaques to increase the capacity of foreign dna fragment and to in enable positive selection for recombinant phases these characters are very important in vitro packaging of wild type lambda in vitro packaging of lambda dna involves first making pre heads that are empty a structure composed of major capsid protein encoded by gene e a unit length lambda dna is then inserted in pre heads with the unit length being prepared by cleavage of concatamerized lambda genome at neighboring cross sites a minor capsid protein d is then inserted in the pre heads to complete head maturation the products of other genes serve as assembly proteins ensuring joining of complete tails to the completed heads here we know that the fuzz lambda bacteria fuzz have two types of life cycle one is lysogenic pathway and second is lytic pathway in lysogenic pathway the fuzz dna becomes integrated into the bacterial genome via homologous recombination between a ttp region and the bacterial genomic region site that is a ttb site it is replicated along with bacterial dna the inserted lambda bacteriophage into bacterial genome is known as prophage the prophage dna remains integrated until it is induced to enter the lytic pathway lytic pathway is the large scale production of bacteriophage particles proteins and dna occurs that eventually leads to lysis of the cell importance of lambda insertion vectors because the lambda genome 
is organized in blocks of functionally related genes and not all genes are necessary for the replication of phases. So, both the insertional vectors and replacement vectors becomes important. In replacement vector, it is possible to excise part of genome and replace them with foreign DNA. Vectors that function according to these principles are known as replacement vectors. They contain 9 to 24 KB of foreign DNA. Altogether, the lambda genome must be between 38 to 53 KB long and to be able to package. If their size is less than 38 KB, it will not package into the heads. Especially during the early period of cloning, this characteristics was an important reason for the application of lambda because no other vector permitted the insertion of DNA fragment that were so large. There are some important features of insertion vectors also. These are easy to restrict by single restriction endonucleases, self packages into fast particles. These are easy transformation, long and easy stability, and due to their host specificity, these are safe for human health also. We are now going to cosmid vectors. There are some essential features of cosmid vectors. These are E. coli based cloning vectors constructed by combining plasmid origin of replication and a selectable marker gene and a bacteriophage cos site for genetic elements. Cloning capacity is up to 45 KB. These are mainly used for construction genomic libraries. An interesting development is fast vectors is the cosmids. They are plasmids with typical plasmid characteristics. These are circular double standard DNA with a replication origin, a set of selectable marker and a cloning site, which also contain a typical sequence for the cos sites. The genome is a linear DNA molecule, has a 12 base pair long single standard complementary overhang at both ends, which emerge during the packaging process through splitting of the cos sites. Once these cosmic vectors are inserted into bacteria, both ends find one another and ligated by the bacterial enzymes and form a circular plasmid like structure. The circular genome is replicated in bacteria and because the responsible DNA polymerases continue in a circle, a very long copy emerges that consists of many genomes that are being strung together at cos sites. A specific enzyme cleaves these concatamers at cos sites and generate handy linear genome with single standard overhangs that can be packaged into five particles. Cosmid vectors. As plasmid vectors, cosmid contain an origin of replication and a selectable marker. Cosmid also possesses a unique restriction enzyme recognition site in, into which a DNA fragment can be ligated. After the packaging, uh, after the packaging reaction has occurred, the newly formed lambda particles are used to infect E. coli cells. The DNA is injected into bacterium like normal lambda DNA and circularized through complementation of coast sites. The selection of transformants is made on the basis of antibiotic resistance and bacterial colonies rather than plaques uh, are, forms, are formed in case of cosmid vectors. Since lambda phage particles can accept between 37 to 51 kilobase pair of DNA and the most cosmid are about 5 kilobase pair in size. So between 32 to 47 kilobase pair DNA can be cloned into these vectors. This repre represents considerably more 
could be cloned into lambda vectors itself. So, the steps of cosmic uh, cloning in cosmic vectors uh, can be defined as cosmids are medium uh, size cloning vectors. The cloning capacity of these vectors is 35 to 44 base, uh, 45 base pair. And the first cosmid vector was described by Colin in 1978. Cosmid vectors are developed by combining the feature of plasmid vectors and bacteriophage vectors. The origin of replication, multiple cloning site, and selectable markers are obtained from the plasmids. And the all, only cohesive reason or cost sites reason is taken from lambda phage. There are uh, these are fused together to obtain a plasmid vectors. Approximately 200 base pair lambda phage sequence is cloned into cosmid vector this uh, this consists of nos cos, cos n site cos b and cos q site a cosmid vector may have one or two cos sites cosmid vectors are used in construction of genomic libraries the cloning of foreign dna in cosmid vectors involve the following steps First, the ligation of DNA, foreign DNA between two cos sites. Second, to make a concatameric DNA, it means that the foreign DNA plus the vector. In third, the in vitro packaging to in introduce the DNA into the phage head to form the matured phage particles. And fourth, the introduction of cloned DNA into E. coli by transduction. After they are entry into host cell, cosmids are maintained just like plasmids. Usually, cosmids are maintained as high copy number plasmids. Cosmid vectors can also be uh, used as subtle vectors by incorporating SV40 uh, virus origin of replication. Phosmid vectors. The need of an alternative high capacity cloning vector felt when the genomic library constructed using cosmid vectors were unstable due to their high copy plasmid vectors. Therefore, a new cloning vector with a low copy number was developed based on F factor plasmid, and this is called the phos phosmid vector. Phosmid are used for genomic library construction of complex genomes. A phosmid is a low copy number plasmid constructed by combining the features of F factor plasmid and cos sites. The size of phosmid vectors is approx 8 kilobase pairs. It has par B and par A genes to maintain the copy number of the phosmid. A canamycin resistant gene and an ampicillin resistant gene is used as a selectable marker. Bacteriophage M13 Bacteriophage M13 phase is a filamentous phase that infects E. coli via F. pilus. The genome is single standard circular DNA of size approx 6.4 kilo base surrounded by a proteinaceous coat that is called capsid. The DNA strand present in phase is called plus strand. After entering into the E. coli host, it converts into double standard DNA molecule called replicative form or RF by utilizing bacterial machinery. M13 phase as cloning vector can be obtained in both single standard as well as double standard form. The replicative form double standard vector are modified and replicated inside E. coli host similar to the plasmid vectors. Single standard vectors can be isolated by collecting M13 phase. Lambda based phasmid vectors. These phasmid vectors are plasmids having a small segment of filamentous phase M13 FD 
or F1 fast capable to carry up to 10 kilobase pair passenger DNA. Examples are PEMBL series plasmids and P blue script family plasmids. The M13 origin of replication allows the packaging of the plasmid into M13 phage when bacteria is also infected by a M13 helper phage. Phagemids generally encode no or one kind of oat proteins. Other structural and functional proteins necessary to accomplish the life cycle of the phagemid are encoded by helper phage as generally transcribed by the host. Replication in M13 bacteriophages. In M13 bacteriophage, DNA replication is takes place by rolling circle mechanism. In this mechanism, one strand is nicked and the at the 3 prime OH group is extended by polymerase, DNA polymerase. The 3 prime end on the circle is extended while the growing point rolls around the circle template. The 5 prime end is displaced by and forms a tail of single stranded DNA. The single stranded DNA tail is converted into double stranded DNA by synthesis involving RNA trimers. In rolling circle DNA replication is initiated by initiator protein encoded by the bacteriophage DNA which nicks one strand of double stranded circular DNA molecule at site called the double strand origin or DSO. The initiator protein remains bound to the 5' phosphate end of the nicked strand and the free 3' hydroxyl end is released to serve as primer for DNA synthesis by DNA polymerase third. Using the unnicked strand as template, replication proceeds around the circular DNA molecule, displacing the nicked strand as single stranded DNA. The displacement of the nicked strand is carried out by host encoded helicase in the presence of replication initiation protein. Continued DNA synthesis can proceed multiple single stranded DNA copies of original DNA in a continuous head to tail series and these are called concatamers. These linear copies can be converted into double standard circular molecule through the following process. First, the initiator protein makes another nick to the terminate synthesis of the first leading strand. RNA polymerase and DNA polymerase third when replicate the single standard origin SSO DNA to make another double standard circle. Now, the DNA polymerase first removes the primer, replacing it with DNA, and DNA ligase joins the ends to make another molecule of double standard circular DNA. The widely example of M13B13 bacteriophage derived vector is PEMBL8. These vectors have been used successfully for DNA sequencing with dideoxy method and can be used by other purposes for which M13 derives derivatives are used. However, the PEMBL plasmid have the advantage of being smaller than M13 vectors and the purification of DNA is simple. In addition, long insert have a higher stability in PEMBL plasmids than M13 vectors. With the bacteriophage such as M13, the replication process is complex. Phage DNA molecule generally carry several genes essential for replication, including gene for component and phage code proteins and phage specific DNA replicative enzymes. Alteration in any of these genes will impair or destroy the replicative ability. So, there is less freedom to modify phage DNA molecules. For the in vitro packaging of phage particles of phage mid vectors like PMBL8, it is necessary. In figure, you can see how 
M13 based bacteriophage replicates and a new virons are produced. Phage made in vitro packaging. The EMBL8 was made by transferring 1300 base pair fragment of M13 to PUC8. This piece of M13 in PEMBL8 contains signal re sequences recognized by enzyme that converts the normal double standard M13 molecule into single standard DNA before secretion of new phage particles. The signal sequence is still remains functional even though detached from the rest of the M13 genome. When a normal M13 is used as helper phage, it provides necessary replicative enzymes and phage coat proteins. So, students, let's now summarize what we have learned in this module. Lambda vectors, insertional vectors, replacement vectors, cosmic vectors, phasmid vectors, and phasmid in vitro packaging. Thank you.